Hello, this is Kate at ComputerCareColona.com and I'm here today to show you how to make your life with Outlook just a little bit less annoying than it normally would be. Here's the deal. Um, sometimes we misspell an email address for someone or sometimes we have a friend who changes their email address. The old one's no good anymore quit sending stuff there. The new one is the one you want. So being a conscientious and organized person, you open up Outlook and you go into your address book and you change the information there or you make sure that the address is correct there. And yet when you start to type a message to this person, the wrong address pops up and you you just like can't make it stop. I hate it when that happens and you can make it stop and it's really easy but you need to understand what's going on. Outlook, bless its heart, saves your email addresses two places. One is the obvious place in your address book or contacts and I mean that makes sense because that's where you would think to save it but it saves it another place too and what happens is when we uh, type an email address in to a message a new message Outlook remembers that until the end of time or until we delete it from that second location which is the autocomplete file so it's real easy to delete it but you have to know how and I'll show you. Step one, open Outlook. Duh. Step two, click on new email like you're going to create a new email. Now I actually misspelled my own email address when I was trying to send something from one account to another and the later it gets at night the more likely I am to do that. So I have my right address and my wrong address in here. When I try to um, send something now and I go to the to field and I start typing you know, here's the right one, which luckily is on top, but here's the wrong one, and I'm just as likely to hit that as anything else, and I mean, I'm not going to get this email if I send it like this. So I want to get rid of this one, and all I need to do is before it gets into that to field, is see it in the suggestions, and come over to this X, and click on the X to delete it. Now if you're using a trackpad or you, you don't like, <clears throat> pardon me, you don't like using a mouse, you can use the arrow keys on your computer to uh, to change it, to, to select the one you want to delete and then you can hit the delete key there. But right now I'm going to do, do it with a mouse so you can see it and I click here and and it's gone. So I'm going to not save my message, but just to show you next time I try to create a message to myself, I only have the one choice and I'm good to go. Uh, now I can send that and, uh, and I know I'll receive it. That is really all there is to it. It hasn't changed anything in the address book, so you want to also make sure that's correct. Usually this happens when you have made sure this is correct and this goofy thing keeps popping up. Won't do it anymore. I hope that helped you. And uh, if you need any help with uh, your computer, hope you'll consider us here at Computer Care Kelowna in the lovely Okanagan in British Columbia, Canada. Thanks.